Alexia Vasquez, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't have to run across the border to know that as much as I love her, America does not love me back. And as much as I want to succeed, she won't let me. I was planted like many sunflower seeds in the soils of Obregón, Sonora. I be and I began to sprout for eight short years. My father was a migrant farm worker, picking onions and grapes like Cesar Chavez. My mother left her job to take care of three girls. Inquietas eramos todas, fighting for toys, food, anything our distraction caught. After five months without my father around, he came back to tell us he was jobless and wasn't paid for the work he did. Not even blooming yet, I was pulled from my roots and carried up north of the border. Held in a dirty old pot, my mother figured an American diploma would fit her well with her toilet cleaning job and a sense of loneliness. I remember I cried the first day of third grade. Eyes of all colors followed me as the teacher's hand signals grew impatient. All this for telling me where to sit. I remember being bullied in middle school by two girls. One was Macy, the other Francine. They would laugh when they threw their fists towards me and watch me flinch. They would call me names, like Vacha. They were both Native American of tribes who danced like the fariseos on the empty sand roads of Sonora. I remember I was the most difficult to bully since I didn't know English. I would simply study and keep my grades up. This was your typical everyday American lifestyle and I thank my mom for it. But now that I'm older, I dream of becoming one of those people, you know, the ones you see talking on their Bluetooth, meeting at Starbucks, and brag about success. Do you know what it feels to be labeled alien? Well, do you? It feels as heavy as the chains hanging from my wrists. It feels like the weights the Slipknot carries every day. The moment where you're forced by law to sit next to a sign that says colored. And the only way you can be signified separate is by skin. And there you are, watching people evolve before you as you sit there like a dog begging for a treat. Because when 65,000 dreams are denied a year, there is something wrong. Because sitting in that dirty old pot feels like you're young forever, and there is no list for me to sign at the bottom so that I can grow up with stems as high as palm trees and petals of reach for Apollo's hands. I want to know what more than 10 bucks an hour feels like. I want to know what it feels to get paid without labor and live a life that isn't frozen. I want to be superior, standing high above you with nothing in my way. You think this will hurt you, so you pay for smaller cages and try to scare us with your threats. Majority rules, honey, but minority counts too. Your thoughts are gathered for fear of pests storming your home. The world falls apart as your eyes gleam for only profit, and your doubt relieved solely by the same people still stay in blood, still stayed in Vietnam, in Korea, in Iraq, and Afghanistan. What more will it take to stop history replaying again and again? When will you realize that these pests eat the mold in your forgotten addicts? I speak English just as well as you do, honey. And I know you're afraid of change, but I am not leaving! Alexia Vasquez, ladies and gentlemen. That's Alexia right there.